we're going to be looking at diffraction of waves. Diffraction is the spreading out of a wave as it passes through a gap or moves around a corner. The orange lines are representing the wave fronts, that is, for example, the crest of the wave. And so the distance between the wave fronts represents the wavelength. And it's important to note that in diffraction, the wavelength of the wave does not change after it passes through the gap. So when you draw the diagram, the distance between the wave fronts remain the same. The reason why the waves spread as they pass through a gap is because we can consider that at the gap, the waves act as point sources, so that means from each point source, the waves spread out in all directions. And we ignore the wave spreading out in the backward direction and only focus in the forward direction. So here we're going to consider the waves made up of four point sources. And from each point source, the wave is spreading out in all directions. So the resulting pattern is found from the superposition of these waves. So the superposition means the addition of all these waves. And so we'll get this spreading out, this curve effect. So the amount of diffraction, so the spreading out of the wave, depends on the wavelength and also the size of the gap. You can see from these two diagrams that for a given wavelength, if the size of the gap is too large, you get less diffraction, less spreading out of the wave. So the narrower the gap, the more the wave acts as a point source of wave, and so a greater amount of diffraction. These diagrams are showing you that for the same size of gap, if the wavelength is too small, you have less diffraction. So the longer the wavelength, and that is as it gets closer to equaling the size of the gap, the greater the amount of diffraction. And you actually get maximum diffraction when the wavelength equals the size of the gap. So how can you hear but not see around corners? Well, it's all got to do about diffraction or sound and light. So here's some values. So a typical width of the door we can say is approximately one meter. A typical value of the wavelength of sound waves we could say is about one meter. However the wavelength of light is around about 10 to the minus 7 meters. So the wavelength of sound is approximately equal to the size of the door, the size of our gap. So we're going to get significant amount of diffraction and that's why we can hear the sound beyond the corner of the door. However, the wavelength of light is much, much less than the size of the door, the size of the gap. So we'll get no diffraction of light and that's why we cannot see around the corner of the door. So in order to diffract light, we would need to pass it through a gap whose size would be approximately equal to the wavelength of light. So we'd need a size of gap of approximately 10 to the minus 7 metres. So here we have red laser light shining on a screen. If we now place a slit in front of the laser light, and the width of the slit is approximately equal to the wavelength of light, 
then the laser light will pass through the slit and spread out, that is, it will diffract. The sound waves produced from a loudspeaker are actually diffracted as they leave the loudspeaker. So the amount of diffraction depends upon the size, the diameter of the loudspeaker and also the wavelengths of the sound waves produced. So high fidelity speakers have a large diameter speaker called the woofer which maximizes the diffraction for low frequency sound waves. So these are sounds of large wavelengths. So to maximize the diffraction remember the wavelength has to equal approximately the size of your gap. So low frequency sounds, large wavelength sounds will need to be diffracted from a large diameter speaker. However, the high frequency sounds are sent to a smaller speaker, smaller diameter speaker, called the tweeter. And high frequency sound waves have short wavelengths. And so to maximize their diffraction, they need to pass through a smaller loudspeaker, smaller diameter loudspeaker.